Hello and good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sarah Lisa. And today is a good day because it is a thrifting day. I have been um, working every day this week. My business partner was away on holiday, well-deserved, but that meant that I was in the store every single day for, I don't know, the past like 10 days. So today is my first day properly off. I have to go um, ship some parcels, but other than that, I am going to do whatever I want. So I have already been to my local library and checked out all the fresh new magazines. I'm starting to think about fall, but I'm really not there yet. I'm still in the middle of like summer goodness. So I'm going to go to a few local thrift shops today. I'm going to look for some outdoor things, maybe some garden things, still thinking linen and cotton and just floral. I'm so excited. So I don't really have a plan other than I just want to have a nice day to myself, thrifting. So come along with me and let's check out what the stores have in store for us today. Okay, let's go. When I head into my local thrift stores, I don't know about you, but I always do the same aisles in the same order. And for me, I start in homeware. Um, I don't know why, but that's just what I tend to do. Um, I thought this candle was really cool for someone who uh, melts them down to make their own candles. I know a lot of people do that. And straight to vases. I never have enough. Uh, that's not true. I actually have way too many. This one I thought was really pretty. It's kind of like a tin. Oh yeah, and then I picked it up again to see if there was a signature in the bottom. And there wasn't, but it was made in Italy, so I thought that one was pretty cool. And you know, I will always find a naked angel baby <laughs> pretty much every time I thrift and I seriously considered this little cutie he had a rope and he was pulling um, a basket of what could be like flowers or a houseplant I thought that was sweet same thing with this little boot and this one was signed on the bottom by the artist and I thought it was pretty cute. It was kind of small for the plants that I have here, but my mom has her sunflowers starting to grow and it could also be really pretty used as a vase um, and then filled with like big sunflower blooms. finding jewelry boxes. I don't need any right now, but found a lot of good ones. And this, I kind of regret not getting. Um, it would have been great to pour drinks and bring them out to the gazebo and we're hosting people. Didn't get that one. Thinking maybe I should have. Vintage Ikea. And my never ending search for vintage cutlery. I still have not found uh, the right set. I'm looking for some cutlery that maybe has porcelain handles that are painted. 
Um, it's a big ask, I know, but something really sweet um, that I could take out into the gazebo or set the table with. I adore setting the table and having different options. Um, but I have, I have never, like never thrifted cutlery and I look every time just in case and I've never found a winner. <laughs> I would say after vases, tablecloths are the next thing that I always gravitate to. And these little napkin holders were super sweet, but they were saying Christmas to me. And I am not ready to get organized for Christmas just yet. These rugs were cute and I seriously considered them. There were three of them all in brand new condition and they looked to be um, handmade on a loom. They were really quite cute. It's always hard to find things in a set as well. So if you're out and you're thrifting and you like something and there is a set, Go ahead and buy all of them because it makes a more cohesive look when you take them home. When I shop for clothing and vintage and thrifted clothing especially I just go with what I think looks pretty if a fabric um, looks like I want to reach out and touch it I grab it because it's probably a linen or a cotton or something of a nicer quality um, you can sort of do the scan and just walk down the aisle, scan, and then if a fabric jumps out at you like this, ooh, this gingham, I actually really wanted this dress, but it was not in my size. And c'est la vie, that is how it works when you're thrifting. usually end my shop with bags and shoes. Don't know why, but this is the last aisle at our value village. And then I'm jumping over to what we call the pet save in Sudbury. And they were having their summer sale, which meant this dress was 50% off and their prices are already good to start with. So that was a great start to my thrifting there. This was so cool. How nice would it be to serve afternoon tea? I don't have any afternoon tea parties coming up that I know of, but I thought that was great. Same thing with this leather wrapped um, jar. It was artisan made and vintage, just really cool. I wouldn't trust putting anything in it to actually drink out of, but maybe you could pop a single flower stem in it. me every time it's been here for ages it has the teapot the coffee pot the gravy boat all the serving dishes and it's a full service oh it has to be for eight or twelve it is absolutely stunning and I always pick it up and have a look at it and 
they also never drop the price so this one's out of reach for me i use all of the china that we have the good stuff all of it i use it every day and if that was less expensive it would have come home with me they also have a really great selection of white china they usually have an entire section just dedicated to the white things that come in and this pot was really cool. It was a giant cabbage with a lid and a serving ladle. So imagine making like a hearty cabbage stew and then serving it in a cabbage. Um, I thought that was great. jewelry box that tempted me they're so sweet when they have the little drawers and they look like an actual chest of drawers I do not need another jewelry box um, I'll have to do a jewelry tour for one of my videos um, my jewelry box is bursting at the seams but there's always room for more have a family cruise coming up this year and I actually do need new luggage so I always take a peek and I thought this one would be really easily recognizable <laughs> when you're waiting for your luggage at the baggage claim if it looks like a giraffe I have like a standard red case right now and so does literally everyone else. So I'm keeping my eyes open for the perfect um, luggage set. I'd love to find the smaller carry-on size and the full-size suitcase as a matching set. So that's what I'm thinking about. Sometimes you have to just put the idea out there and you'll find it if you're patient. at this shop are always so tempting lots of vintage lots of handmade and really good prices here the other thing I'm on the hunt for right now is a new hand soap pump for our main bathroom ours just doesn't seem to want to work anymore and I've tried everything I can do to get it to work again I've cleaned it out I've fussed with it but I need a new one and I'm waiting for a cute one to show up somewhere this thrift shop keeps Christmas out year round and I adore Christmas and decorating for Christmas so once in a while I find something and grab it and tuck it away in one of my big Rubbermaid bins. I didn't find anything today but I so appreciate having the option and donations come in year round so you never know. call that a super successful day at the thrift shops and I'm back home and I'm gonna show you what I actually decided to keep I go around and fill my cart and then decide at the end and go put things back I don't know if you do that um, let me know in the comments if that's your trick as well I sort of curate things into my cart and then decide at the end what I really need and then do like a final goodbye tour where I put things back and then I check out with my winners. So these are the things I decided that I needed right now. 
I got a simple pink. Pink is the color right now, but I also loved pink um, before the You Know Who movie came out. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren, and it's in a wrinkle-free fabric. It has a really sweet um, little crest, so I picked that up. My Goodwill, actually it's not a Goodwill, it's a Value Village. My Value Village is expensive right now. Um, let me know in the comments if yours is expensive or if it's just a Canada thing or an Ontario thing, I'm not sure. So this is $14.99 for the blouse. Then I picked up, okay, it's Chaps, but I'm pretty sure Chaps is also Ralph Lauren, maybe like a step down. Um, I'll have to look into it, I'm not really sure. I got this really pretty dress, it's got a ruffle hem. It's in like new condition and I thought it was really sweet, sort of like the end of summer going into fall. I can start to wear these sort of long sleeve pieces. Ooh, these are good. Um, I got these 1980s earrings with um, like a giant door knocker style and a lion head and they just <laughs> were too good to pass up so I grabbed those. And then linens, um, this was from the second store. I ended up getting um, all the embroidered tablecloths to add to my collection. This one was really sweet with the little flower details. And this one's more of a 70s vibe. If I can open it to this side. And it's also woven fabric and fully embroidered. Last, oh. I got um, the dress that I'm wearing that you saw me try on. I'm already wearing it and I'm just in love with linen. So grabbed that for sure. And then this one, kind of in fall colors, not really summer, but it's the, um, it's a vintage coach poppy bag and it's in really good condition. And for some reason, this one, was $10.99. They had some of the coach bags in the showcase for like 60 bucks, which is crazy. Um, but they missed this one and it was just hanging out on the rail with all the others. So I absolutely grabbed that and it's a zipper top. It's way too big. I'm probably gonna like have way too much stuff in my purse as I always do, but that's okay because it'll be good for thrifting. So that's my haul. Um, let me know in the comments what you are searching for right now and how the thrifting is at where you live. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next Thursday with a brand new one. Bye.